Yes, we're in the hottest market you've ever experienced and you're getting your butt beat. I get it, I get it. You're a buyer and you're wondering what is it gonna take to win in this market? Because you know what? You want a home, you want a single family home, you want a multi-family home, you want the space, you want the Peloton, you want it all. I get it. But do you have the right mindset to win in this market? Up next, I'll share what that is. All right, everyone, Ethan Ray is here, real expert consulting. And yes, if you've been living under a rock, you'd still know that we're living in the hottest market we've ever seen in real estate. So hot, so hot. I'm talking about buyers are exhausted. I get it, I, they're exhausted, but also it's just not on the buyers being exhausted. Sellers are terrified. Sellers are terrified because many of them know that once their house gets put on the market, it's flying within minutes and many of them are threatened by the idea of not having a place to live because we're in the shortest inventory uh, market that we've ever seen. And it's just, it's just terrifying, yeah. And without a plan or without a true, true expert consultant like yourself, me, <laughs> um, you, you might get lost in the shuffle. So without a real, uh, strategic plan to execute, you'd get lost. So I would say that if you're in the market today, it's quite simple. It's very quite simple. It's all mentality. It's all mentality. Mentality of how you prepare for this. If you're going to go ahead and come into this market, you've gotta be one of two different buyers. One that's super aggressive, willing to go ahead and break the 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 pats and oaths that you had for yourself of like i would never pay this i would never waive this forget about that waive that idea if you're going to win anything today that is the best price homes at the best locations the best conditions those are the homes that are flying the fastest now let's say if you're more reserved and you are that you know that more meticulous minded individual wishes, there's nothing wrong with it. I would say, keep your focus on the properties that have lasted longer on the market than the average, and whatever that is in your market. Here in uh, Westchester County, for instance, um, average days on market for a single family home, three bedroom, one and a half bath plus, you're looking at about 32 days on market. I would just go ahead and advise my clients to start looking at homes that have been on the market 40 days or longer. Those are the homes that the sellers either or listing agents shot their shot because we're in the hottest market, obviously, and the market didn't agree. And for whatever reason, because there's no such thing as real estate that can't sell. It's just a matter of, is it priced correctly to sell? And if that's the case, you might have the opportunity to make a bid on this house, one, get something off Two, more importantly not waive the conditions that you're comfortable with and three you'd have probably upside on building equity when you acquire that home often many of these homes that i've gotten off for, for my clients over the last 18 months have already been purchased with a, a positive equity position it's just that they came out the starting blocks incorrectly incorrectly priced and I was able to take advantage of such and giving my clients all this upside, not having to waive anything that they're uncomfortable with, you know, or, or comfortable with. I'm kind of confusing that, <laughs> but you get it. <laughs> I know you get it. That's, that's what it takes uh, to win in today's market. I would say that's applicable here in New York as well as um, anywhere around the country. So it's just all about mindset and without a right strategy. And again, I'm only giving you a glimpse of what I do, uh, but I would say it all boils down to mentality because it, none of my other A through Z strategies would be effective if you did not at least come out the gates with that mentality of who you are. You've got to choose an identity of what type of buyer you are going to be in this market. And the alternative to the two types of buyers I just said, is continue to rent. Yeah. We're, you know, this market can't stay this hot forever. But yeah, there's the risk reward uh, aspects to it, but you 
buy when it's your time and that's okay, right? It may cost you more, it may not. If I had a magic crystal ball um, and I can predict this, look, I won't be making YouTube videos. I'll be making millions on MSNBC. But in my estimation, I would wanna go ahead and take advantage of opportunities while I still have the youth, while I still have the job, the credit, et cetera. And sometimes, sometimes what you hope to gain is greater than what you are going to lose by getting into today's market. It's as simple as that. And that's only a decision you'd have to make because you know your finances better than anybody. You know your desires better than anybody. So uh, have these conversations with your significant others. If it's a, if it's a, a, a pair or more purchasing, um, or if it's have the conversation with yourself or anybody that you trust, or you can have that conversation with me and we can discuss it. Even if you're not ready uh, two months out from now, 30 days from now, I have clients that uh, have re-engaged with me after four years of being in the business. And you know what? They're right now happy sipping mimosas by their pool. Yeah, it's cold, but they're still doing it. <laughs> if this video gave you any value whatsoever, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and look forward to next videos that I'll be releasing soon. I'll see you on the next one. Be well.